everyone, and welcome to this week's episode of Cooking with Daniela. This week, as a Father's Day special, we're going to be sticking to our Italian roots and baking a terrific tiramisu. All right, so first of all, to showcase our ingredients here, we have four egg yolks. They have been separated from their egg whites. We have half a cup of sugar, three-fourths a cup of heavy whipping cream, eight ounces of mascarpone cheese, we have a little bit of amaretto, a cup of coffee, some cocoa powder, lady fingers, and shaved chocolate for the end. All right, so our first step, we're gonna use our electric mixer here. And we're going to mix our egg whites and a little bit of the sugar in. Or I mean, egg yolks and a little bit of the sugar. So we're going to mix this until it is a very pale yellow and has about tripled in volume. So as we did for the cheesecake, what we're going to do, we're going to scrape the sides of the bowl. And if you haven't watched the cheesecake episode, go back and watch that one. All right, so here, you, as you can see, we have a very pale yellow. And it has, in fact, about tripled in volume. So now what we're going to do, we're going to put this part into a bowl so we can continue using the mixture for another part of our events. So what we're going to do now, we're going to go ahead and clean out this bowl to make sure that none of that uh, residue is left in here. All right, everyone, so we, made, we went ahead and washed our bowl and our mixer. Um, you want to make sure that it's really nice and dry before we start doing the cream. Otherwise, the cream may not set as well as you may want it to. So what we're going to do now, we're going to we're going to whip our cream and our sh remaining sugar until it forms about soft to medium peaks. All right, guys. So we have finished whipping our cream and sugar, and this is what you want it to look like. And now what we're going to do, we're going to add our mascarpone cheese until it forms more medium peaks. And you want a soft, spreadable mixture. We're going to get our mascarpone cheese here. So we're going to go ahead and put our mascarpone cheese in here. And we're going to go ahead and mix our mascarpone cheese and cream and sugar mixture now. So as with anything, as always, you want to go ahead and get the edges of the bowl and scrape them down to make sure that everything is incorporated into your mixture. And we want a really creamy consistency with this. We don't want any lumps or bumps in it either. All right, so we have mixed our mascarpone cheese and cream and sugar. Here are our medium peaks. It's a nice creamy consistency, so it looks really nice. Now what we're going to do, we're going to mix our, we're going to gently fold our mascarpone mixture into our egg yolks and sugar. All right, so in order to get the best results, we will always want to taste our food. So we're going to get a little spoon here, and we're going to try a little bit of our cream. That is incredible. So creamy and delicious. All right, now we're going to fold it in nicely. All right, so we folded in our mascarpone mixture and our egg yolks, and this is what it looks like. It looks delicious. So let's continue the process. So this is one step. And now what we're going to do, we have to assemble it, of course. So what we're going to do, we're going to get our coffee. And we're going to pour it into this shallow bowl. The aroma coming off of that fresh brewed coffee is delicious. All right, next we're going to get some amaretto. This is a, also an Italian liquor. So we're going to mix just a tiny, tiny bit into our coffee. Now, as before, we're going to mix the little bit around, and we're going to try it to make sure we've added the right amount. All right, now what we're going to do, we're going to dust the bottom of our pan with a little bit of cocoa powder, and we're going to make sure that we put some of the cocoa powder in the sifter to get out the lumps. All right, so what we're going to do, we're just going to pour just a little bit in here, and we're going to sift it that covers the bottom portion. All right, so you don't want too much on the bottom, so we have just a little bit there. 
All right, so for our next step, we are going to open our ladyfinger package. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to quickly dip our ladyfingers into our coffee and amaretto mixture, and then we're going to quickly place it back into the bowl. Now, ladyfingers are very porous, so that means that they're filled with a lot of air pockets. So, and that's what makes them airy and light. So we want to make sure we don't leave them in the, our coffee and amaretto mixture for too long, otherwise they will fall apart. And another part that I want to mention is that we want to put them round side down on the baking dish. All right, so now what we're going to do, we're going to put our mascarpone mixture on top, a half of it, we're going to put half of it on top of the lady fingers. All right, so now what we're going to do, we're going to put our next packet of lady fingers, and we're going to dip them in our coffee and our coffee and amaretto mixture again, and then we're going to place another layer on top of our already mascarpone mixture. And once again, we're going to make sure that we put our lady fingers bottom side down. All right, so this is how our second layer of lady fingers are on there. Now we're going to put the rest of our mascarpone mixture on top. Okay, so now we've covered our top of our lady fingers layers with our with the rest of the mascarpone cheese. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna get a little bit more cocoa powder and dust some more on top. All right, so now that we've dusted the top of our tiramisu with some cocoa powder, we're gonna get some of this shredded chocolate and we're just gonna finally spread some on top. All right, so here is our tiramisu. Now we're going to cover it with some saran wrap and we're going to let it chill in the refrigerator for about four hours. Four hours is the minimum that you can let it. You can let it sit for 24 hours. That, that'll be even better. All right, so we're going to let it chill for about four to six hours and we'll see you then. Hey everyone, welcome back. So we've been letting the tiramisu sit for about four hours. So now we're going to go into this and taste how delicious it is. All right, guys, so here we have our finished tiramisu. It looks absolutely delicious. All right, so let's try this. Incredible. Melts in your mouth. Delicious. Thanks for watching. This has been Cooking with Daniela. I hope you have a blessed day, and we'll see you next time.